All right, what's up, man? It's Morsi. I'm over here with another video for y'all. This one's gonna be a fun one. Um, I've had people in the past ask me, yo, Morsi, I know you do mixing and mastering. What would you recommend? Fab Filter Master Bundle or Ozone, Isotope Ozone? Uh, right now, we're at version 11, right? And in all honesty, I'm just gonna tell you right away, I think Ozone 11 might be a best bet, and I'll show you why. However, let's not forget how amazing FabFilter has been and still is. It's the standard. It's my favorite EQ of all time. Right here, that EQ Pro Q3. Fucking best EQ out there. You could do a whole bunch of features, and we'll get right to it and talk about that. Um, so yeah, let me just, why not? Let's get to it, right? Let's save some time. So here you go. With the FabFilter Pro Q3, it's, it has my favorite features, which is, it's all right here. It's all in here, right? You have your mid side, so you can cut out the middle. For this specific preset I have set up, the sides are all being cut out at around 55 hertz. So everything in the middle is more focused. Um, so the mid, you have, I have a little dynamic EQ. Now this is another awesome feature that the Pro-Q3 has. Um, dynamic EQ meaning it will move and pump, either expand if you, if you do dynamic EQ upwards, or you can make it downwards and kind of cut to um, remove some mud. So it's, it's cool in, in that fact. Uh, so right here we have a little boost and I'll just, uh, you can hear it. Let's have this track be heard and you can see what it's doing. So specifically for a house track, this is a track I'm working on by the way, a uh, new house track. And as you see, the mids are getting bumped up a bit and now there's more focus because the sides all that low frequency side information we really don't need. So let's just cut it out and clean up this mix. If you, I'm gonna turn it on and off. You might, you may or may not hear the difference, but um, it definitely gives you a cleaner signal. Also, I mean, I'm boosting up high frequencies and boosting up mid frequencies, uh, specifically on the stereo. See on the sides, not stereo, sides. So the sides I'm boosting up, um, high frequencies all over and it's giving that illusion that it's louder it is getting louder but on the sides um so yeah let's hear it on and off so as you see it's sounding nice and cleaner because we're getting rid of mud here and there um it's doing a little duck around 250 in the middle range, that's usually where that mud is, 250, 300 hertz, and it's cleaning it up a bit. Love it. I highly recommend, if you're gonna, if you're gonna get just one plugin for Black Friday this year, get the Pro-Q3. However, Ozone does have something similar. We'll get right, we'll get to that in a bit. So, Pro-Q, the Pro-C2. In all honesty, I don't like this shit. It's ugly. I never used it, and I, mean, I tried to use it in the past, and it really just didn't work with me, and that's just me. It might work for you guys. Um, I know a lot of people that do swear by this compressor. I don't. I've heard other people talk so much trash about it, um, but it does the job. It is a compressor. You have your attack release. You have your threshold and ratio, and we just see what it's doing for this. This is at the default setting. <laughs> So right there, you see it's cutting around 2 dB or compressing uh, 2 dB and uh, just giving you that little thump and fullness that Pro-C is known for. That's all. That's pretty much I'm going to talk about this because I'm not a fan of it. It does have side chain, so you, know, you can side chain it, let's say, to a kick if you're using the plugin individually. Let's say you have a bass line and you have a kick, you can do some side chain features that way or if you have a vocal and you want the vocals to kind of duck 
specifically at certain frequencies, or let's say the vocalist is talking and you want the instrumental to duck a touch, you can do that with the sidechain. Great feature, very confusing to use. I don't, I don't do this this way. I don't like it. And that's it, that's just me. We're moving on to the Pro MB, the multiband compressor. Fucking beautiful plugin. Love the multiband compressor. Um, let's just hear it in action. So as you see what it's doing, you can you can um, solo out the frequencies. Let's do that too. So right there, it's just um, giving a little air at at the what is it, 14k, 1400 hertz, and. Um, yeah, it's boosting up some mid, and it's pretty much, I don't know if you see it, but it's doing the same thing as the Pro-Q3, which is that um, dynamic EQing, either upward expansion or compression. It's, it's doing the same thing. So technically, you don't even need the Pro-MB, and I know some other mixers out there, some, some famous ones that are literally talk about this. They say the Pro-MB is great, it's doing this, but it's doing something very similar that the Pro-Q3 already does. So, you know, there's, there's that conversation, but it's, it's great. It works. I, I love it. it. It definitely gives a, a nice, uh, fatter feeling. And let's move on to the famous Pro-L2. Hands down, I still use this to this day. It's the, one of the best limiters out there, one of the most standard ones. Um, I love that you can have the lefts meter on the side. I put it on short term and my goal is always to hit like negative six uh, dB, which is loud as fuck. And just so I don't blow out people's speakers and the recording device, I'm not making it negative six. I'm just keeping it at a nice level so that y'all can hear. Um, yeah, like I said, this is a standard limiter that people swear by, and I swear by it. There are other limiters out there that are competing. Ozone's definitely, or Isotope is definitely trying to compete with it, and it's pretty damn good. So there you have it, Fab Filter. Currently, costing $439, which is pretty pricey. And there are not many big sales out there with FabFilter. Sometimes they have the Black Friday sales, but the discounts are like, what, 20%? I don't know. It's not as much of a discount. Um, and it's, yeah, it's pricey. So that automatically might, some people will get turned away from that. Let's move on to Ozone 11. All right. And I will say I've, I'm going to admit I did this video in the past and when I put it on the AI mode, it analyzed the track and then it fucking gave me negative, I mean, it gave me positive 19 dB of gain on this mix. As soon as I did that, it blew out the recording, uh, whatever uh, I'm using clean shot to record and it, it fucking blew it out and I couldn't hear audio anymore. So that sucked, uh, but it is what it is. And that's why I still don't like using any type of AI just yet to analyze my audio. I want to do it from scratch. However, with that said, I do still use it as my starting point. And I always recommend people use it maybe as a starting point, but do not rely on it. Go to the manual section and edit it yourself because right away it assumed that this was a rock song it was not it's not a rock song right so it was a, it's a dance house track i had to change that to um to that mode and what else yeah it 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 also boosted the shit out of my stereo image which we'll talk about that's like crazy uh what it's doing so the ai not great but great starting point 
it does have the EQ and I, um, the EQ is pretty good. But like I said, my favorite is dynamic EQ and guess what? It has a dynamic EQ. Let's just hear it. Let's hear what it's doing. So right there, I swear this is just a setting that it's always at for specifically my tracks. I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe it just does this for everyone. But it around 1K and around, uh, what is it, like 3K, 4K, that harshness that usually people um, hear, it kind of does a cut. And then the, all that teeny, really high frequency, it kind of does a little dynamic EQ to cut that um, above 10K. and yeah, it's just cleaning it up. I love the dynamic EQ on this. Is it better than FabFilter Pro Q3 dynamic EQ? Nope, I don't think so. But Neutron does have a really good one, Neutron 4. And uh, I might do a shootout. Let me know if you guys want me to do a quick shootout with um, Ozone versus Neutron, which should you decide. I would shoot with, uh, I would definitely 100% go with Neutron compared to ozone but this is more of a tutorial for like the mastering bundle because fab filter offers the mastering bundle and people have asked me to do this video so i'm doing it let's go to the stereo image and let's fix this because this shit is out of control what are you doing ai i don't know anyway when you bring the um you can you can do multi-band so these frequencies are all separated so at 10k and above it's giving me all this stereo. I don't want all that stereo. That shit is crazy high. We're gonna bring it down. And like we did with the fab filter, I'm gonna bring the lower frequencies more towards the middle mono. So let's bring it down maybe like 80, uh, the mid, the low frequencies, maybe we'll boost a, a bunch, low mid, and the mid will bring all the way a little higher. There, just something like that, right? Now there's this recover sides. I don't know what it does. I mean, I guess it's like adding some more side information to give the illusion of loudness. And I don't know if you notice a difference. Let's do a, let's do a comparison with both. Um, just so you can kind of hear what it's doing. And I'll, I, I know exactly what isotope is doing let's let's hear this so so pretty much i mean i let's look at this eq the first eq it's boosting 2 dB right on the top. It's giving you a lot of high frequency. Long story short, ozone is doing nothing but like giving you more high frequency. And I'm going to show you that with uh, specifically Clarity, which is a beautiful goddamn plugin. If you get ozone advanced, you get these individual, you can use these plugins individually. And stabilizer and Clarity are great goddamn plugins. Let's look at this real quick. Let's see what it's doing. So at around 300, 500, it's kind of like doing a little cut to get rid of maybe some mud that it thinks the mix has, but it's also boosting 5K and 10K. Um, and it's kind of, you know, people compare this maybe to Soothe, Soothe 2 or Track Spacer. Um, and yeah, maybe it is doing that, but you can control the amount, which is great. So I can go really dramatic on this. It's only at 25%. <laughs> Now what's happening is because it's giving all these high information, it's starting to sound like a little more digital tinny, but it's clear as like my style. I actually do like clarity over like fatness and warmth muddiness. I think just there's something about it with today's day and age that people like to hear more clarity. Um, but that's just me. Maybe that's just my ears. Let's move on to stabilizer. Stabilizer does something very similar. Oh, but, Clarity only 
only uh, analyzes and moves 300 hertz and above. Whereas stabilizer, you can do the whole spectrum. You can do the low frequencies or the highs or the mids, and you can have them either cut or shape. So let's have it shaped just to see what it's doing. And just as you see, it's boosting the mid highs a touch just to give that like little air. And it's also cutting around 100 to 200. It thinks that this mix maybe has a little mud there and it just wants to clean it up a touch. But what's cool, and I've talked about this in a uh, past video, Stabilizer, definitely check it out. Use Stabilizer as a separate plugin if you have the advanced version, uh, which costs $3.99 for advanced. I would use it because you can compare this to Soothe and clean up some vocals. I swear, try this out if you haven't. Take the stabilizer, throw it on a vocal. I have a video that I done, did in, um, on my page, so go check it out. I think it does a great job in like cleaning out frequencies and just getting it less mud. That's in, in cut mode. Um, you won't see anything happen because this is a full track. So like, I'll just show you. So when you saw, when you heard the vocal, boop, I kind of ducked down a bit and the low frequencies are ducking a touch. It's, it's, I would leave it at shape because I'm trying to get like, I don't know, I'm trying to get more movement. It's all about dynamics. At the, at the end of the day, it's about dynamics and letting the, your track breathe. It's a house track. It's go constantly going boom, 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 boom. If you're familiar with nightclubs, when you're playing house music, big speakers really will just give you straight up boom, boom, boom. And it kind of sounds muddy on the dance floor. When you have dynamics happening, you're getting more movement and um, your tracks are sounding better out there. So, yeah, get your shit moving, add some dynamics. Um, did we talk about the maximizer? Probably not. It's the limiter and it's great. But what I, like what I said earlier, when I put the AI feature on, that shit gave me positive 19 decibels of gain. That's way too much. And it just, it, it blew out my ears and it, it, it fucking sucks. Don't use it or, or, or use it and then turn it down. And um, what a lot of techniques people say and like to use, which I like to use, I use other plugins, other compressors and other limiters prior to kind of, you do little increments. That's the trick, little increments of compression and then you don't have to go to plus uh, 9 dB or even higher to get that, uh, that loudness you're looking for. You can do that with other plugins. I'm not going to show those other plugins because we're just doing a shootout with FabFilter and Ozone. But just know that that's available. All right. So that's, that's my say in these two. My recommendation, like I said... I would go with the Ozone 11 just because there's more features. There is dynamic EQ, um, which I swear by, and there's imager, and then there's clarity. You're like, you're getting all these options, and it's cheaper than the FabFilter bundle. And there's always more Black Friday sales. And Isotope usually gives you better deals than FabFilter. With that said, though, I still swear by Pro Q3, it's still my standard. Even though I have Ozone, I still use Pro Q3 religiously because you could just do everything. Look at all the shit that I'm, I have on this preset. Um, it's, it's great. You have your mid-side, you have your com uh, compression or, or expansion. It's all right there in one plugin. Great. And I still swear by this limiter. Maybe it's cheaper to just get these two because that's all you really need. If I just had an option of using two plugins, it would be these two for like for my mastering, for mixing and mastering. If I just had just could afford one plugin, I probably would just get the Pro Q3. Just because of its speed and easiness to use, there's many ways you can use this. Um, great tool. But if you could afford it, 
I would maybe go with the Ozone 11 and get the Advanced for $399. Or wait till the Black Friday sale and get it for much cheaper. It might be worthwhile because you get all these added features and it's just going to get you to that level a bit faster, especially with this AI. Now, this is specifically for mastering. Uh, you can use it for mixing. I use it for mixing sometimes. I use an individual. Like I said, I'll maybe use a stabilizer. I'll do a dynamic EQ, but not as, not as good as a fab filter as far as speed and what I'm used to. And it does have the imager, which sounds great, uh, and it works. However, Neutron 4. I swear it's going to take over. A lot of people are going to start talking about it and using it more. Um, let me know if you want me to do a shootout of Ozone or FabFilter versus Neutron 4 because I think we'll, we'll have a clear winner and you'll see. Anyway, that's enough for me talking. Let me know in the comments if I'm full of shit, if I don't know what I'm talking about, or if you also agree that maybe Ozone's the way to go. Or are you just swearing by FabFilter Master Bundle, and that's it. You're not going to get anybody to convince you otherwise. I'm, I'm fine with either things in the comments. I just want to hear what you guys think and uh, give me your honest opinion. All right? Until next time, bitches. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you. Shoot me a like and uh, support the channel. All right? It's Morsi. Till next time. Peace.